The inaugural Inter-Caribbean Flight 715 touched down at Grandly Adams International Airport on Tuesday. Regional Customer Service Specialist Gilles Boustil said Barbados would be the southern hub for the 29-year-old airline, which also operates flights to St. Lucia, Dominica and Grenada. With the start of our operation today, we commit to provide you with a widely connected network of possibilities to the rest of the Caribbean, Central and South America. Connecting you with the Caribbean is our mission a mission which Inter-Caribbean has fulfilled for the last 28 plus years under the guidance of uh, our passionate leader, Mr. Uh, Gardner. We have established ourselves as the leader uh, in regional travel throughout the northern part of our region and with safe, reliable, competitive pricing and of course friendly service. With a growing fleet comprising of comfortable 30 seat passenger uh, turbine aircraft and 50 seat passenger aircraft, our plan expansion uh, from BGI will establish us uh, as, uh, and establish new opportunities as well as tourism connectivity for inbound traffic uh, for our business uh, opportunities from Europe, North America and South America while supporting the local Barbadian economy and stimulating career options for employment in the region. Minister of Maritime Affairs Kirk Humphrey, who stood in for Minister of Tourism Senator Lisa Cummings, said Barbados was proud to partner with an entity to bring people together. We will continue to work together with partners who are of like mind, with a country that is built on principles as Barbados is, to always work with people who are willing to work with us. We are driven by the idea that people matter and for us this relationship, this partnership will be about bringing people closer together because we are strong believers in regionalism, strong believers in the idea that we are stronger together and by working with you we'll be able to make that relationship even more possible, even more of a reality, bringing Barbadians close to other people in the Caribbean, bringing Caribbean people closer to Barbadians and that is the view that we've always had, that's the view we continue to have. Tourism, as you know, is a very important part of who we are. Uh, I'm informed that we had a growth of 5.1% in long stay arrivals over the last year, 2019 to 2018. That 4.1% was the increase we saw in the Caribbean arrivals. So this is important for us. As the Caribbean becomes more of a natural market, we need to be able to move people. Inter-Caribbean is one of the airlines expanding its services in the Caribbean since it was announced that embattled battle carrier Liat would be liquidated. The airline will shortly be introducing a service to St. Vincent and the Grenadines.